Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys in California. Before I begin, we give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge it, Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past. In order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, got sent a little clip off of TikTok from this woman talking about how people are dealing with the heat. Now this heat is a couple, is twofold. You got the heat of definitely like the weather, but it's also the heat that the Most High is applying to the world, to the Gentiles, to the Israelites who have cleaved to the Gentiles, to all the ones who have, you know, Psalms 83 and been confederate against the Most High and his chosen people. The Most High is turning up the heat. And what was interesting was the fact that she makes reference to giving the land back. Giving the land back is one thing, but also giving the history back, giving the knowledge and understanding back, acknowledging who the Most High's chosen people are. That's all part of this as well. So let's take a quick listen to this clip, and we'll come right back. If you're complaining about how hot it is now, you're complaining about how hot it is now. You have no idea. You have no idea what what this ball is starting. Like you're complaining about how hot it is now. We need to give the land back. We need to stop doing what we're doing. Because if you think this is hot, if you think this is bad, what do you think is coming? Hello? If you think this is hot, he says, it's not just the weather. It's also the pressure that the Most High is applying to the other nations. Things are getting worse. Everywhere they turn, there's huge issues, huge problems. And the little fixes, the little band-aid fixes that they've been putting on these huge problems is not going to change anything. But see, they're, you know, just like talking about giving the land back. Who are you guys talking about giving the land back to? So you're talking about all these things, but you're not talking about who did you take the land from? Who were the original inhabitants of these lands? Who did the Most High make a covenant with? And which lands was given to Shem, Ham, and Japheth? Because, you know, you guys can't sit there and say, oh, we're going to give the land back to just the Native Americans, the ones that we have given those names to. See, it's all about who the Most High made the covenants with. With Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, they all got their specific lands. Ham got the hot lands. Japheth, cold lands. Shem got the lands with different seasons, the prime lands. Shem got pretty much half the earth. Ham got a quarter. Japheth got a quarter. But see, this doesn't go with the whole universal doctrine. Everybody's equal. Everybody gets the same thing. It doesn't work like that. But as you can see, you know, people are seeing that things are not going back. And, in, and what they're trying to do is instead of looking at this is the Most High's will, why is the Most High doing this? Why is the Most High unleashing all of these horrors and terrors worldwide? What did we do wrong? How can we fix it? Can we fix it? They're not talking about that. They're trying to just set up people to end fight with one group with another and not look at what the Most High is doing. They want to make it seem as if man somehow had control of the plagues and the pestilences and that they had a way out. And But not to the fact that the Most High has the power and he can do whatever he wants. See, they don't even acknowledge that. They don't acknowledge the fact that there is a supreme being 
that has scripted everything that is coming back to set this world in order. The rest of the world will have you believe that man is in control. Man has always been in control. And that whatever problems, you know, spring up, that man can figure it out. That's not the case. So yes, it's not just the heat that we're getting from these heat waves. It's also the heat that the Most High is applying to the, these other nations. And as you can tell by the actions that you're seeing, they're getting desperate. They want to make it. They want to project themselves as being in, uh, in a power, in a position of strength, so bad. But. They, their blessing has been taken away. They are in their cursing. So as they make their plans, when they were, you know, when they had the blessings, when they were experiencing the blessings, they were able to execute their plans. But now that they've moved into their cursing, do you guys think that that's still the case? Do you have faith in man or do you have faith in the Most High? So you're the nations, when you listen to this, you know, <clears throat> this little snippet here, think to yourself, we got to give the land back. Who are you supposed to give the land back to? What else do you have to give back to those people? It's not just giving back the land after you've, you've raped, robbed, and murdered for hundreds of years and hidden everything. You just give them the land back and that's it. The Mosai said that in the land of their captivity, they're going to remember themselves. It also says in the lands where you guys said that we are not the people. There we said that they are the sons and daughters of the living power. So it's not just give us the land. You got to give us back our history. You're going to have to admit the truth. All of that. You're not going to be able to come to the Most High on your own terms. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.